Inshallah, we will continue with tafsir. Today, I think it is Surah Al Layl. We did Ushamsi Wadu Haha last session. Astaghfirullah, Billah, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Wal Layl Ida Yarsha, Wal Nahari Ida Tajalla, Wama Khalaka Zakara Wal Untha. Shaykh. In a Saya Kum Lashetta. فأما من أعطى واتقى وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره اليسرى وأما من بخل واستغنى وكذب بالحسنى فسنيسره العسرى وما يغني عنه ماله إذا ترد. This tafsir is we are basing not on our own opinion but this is the tafsir of Sayyidina Ibn Kathir and we are adding only what we have learned from our مشايخ over the years about certain realities. Or adab that may be fitting with the tafsir. So this is uh, our uh, method here. Wallayli ida yaqsha. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. That when the night when it covers, when darkness covers, when nahari ida tajalla, Allah is swearing by the night when it covers, by the day when it illuminates. Wa ma khalaqa dhakar wal untha and and by by him who created male and female um, this is something now we live at, uh, at the end of times at where really a uh, times we never imagined that they will uh, come we never imagined that we reach a time where somebody will say to you the, this book is a, is a chair, for example. And uh, by law, this book is a chair. And if you say this book is a book, you, you will be penalized. Huh? Or that this tasbih is a glass of water. Um, this is what, this is, this is yani. And if anyone has doubts that, that life on earth may not be lasting too long, uh, basing it on what? I mean, the, the kufr, the, the disbelief, the madness that prevails now, the egoism, the Satanism, the all whatever isms, you, the greed, the inhumanism, if we can say that, that prevails. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stating the, what is a clear fact. That which has created a male and a female. وَخَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا We have created you in pairs. This is what our belief. We believe in the book, in Quran. And we believe in Allah's words. And we believe in the mind also that Allah gave us to discern. وَمِن كُلِّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَا زَوْجَيْنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have created from everything pairs. Everything is in pairs. Hmm? إِنَّ سَعْيَكُمْ لَشَتَّ Very, verily, your deeds vary. Some, there's diversity of deeds in human beings. Some good, some not good, some not so much good, some very good, some mixing good and bad. There's variations. إِنَّ سَعْيَكُمْ لَشَتَّ فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَالتَّقَى The one who gives, the one who is generous, the one who gives, the one who helps, the one who is God conscious, the one who believes in Allah subhanahu wa and believes in Akhirah, believes in Allah, believes in eternity, believes in Hisab, all these things. Wasaddaqa bil husna means believes in Akhirah. or believes in that there will be judgment and there will be reward and punishment. فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى He will, we will make his path very smooth, make it easy to attain. Sayyidina Ibn Abbas meaning his path towards goodness will be made easy. وَأَمَّا مَنْ بَخِلَ And as for the one who is stingy, وَاسْتَغْنَى And believe that he is sufficient for himself. He doesn't need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doesn't need anyone. وَكَذَّبَ بِالْحُسْنَى And he denied that there will be reward and punishment. 
فَسَنُيَسِّرُهُ لِلْعُشْرَةِ We will make his path of evil easy. So we'll make it easy for him to commit evil, to do evil. And this is subhanallah, you know. It's clear, the one who chooses goodness, أَعْتَ وَالتَّقَى So his choices are good. We will make it easy for him to do even more good, to attain. The one who chooses badness and evil, to commit evil, we will make it even more easier for him to commit evil. So, كُلُّ مُيَسَّر, as Prophet ﷺ said, كُلُّ مُيَسَّر لِمَا خُلِقَ له. Everyone, his, he finds the easy path, what he's, what he's destined for. Allah, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written him in his destination, where he's going to end up, he will find that path very easy. And you see, subhanAllah, you know, if you make bad choices, even if you, you drink poison, you know, alcohol for example, which is a poison, it's, 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 it's a carcinogenic, I think. Or cigarettes, um, you smoke tobacco. You know, people you see, if they've never, they've never smoked tobacco, the first cigarette, they get dizzy sometimes, some throw up, uh, because your body is saying this is not good, this is poisonous. But, if they insist, then it will become easy for them. Then they can drink uh, one bottle, or they can smoke two packs of cigarettes, and they're fine. They, they don't, they're not getting infected. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, if you choose evil, we will make that path easy for you. Hmm? And we mentioned this yesterday also in the surah. Does that mean that it's written, uh, if it's written, you you know, that you're from the, the wretched ones, then why are you being, we being judged? No, it is written in Allah's knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not waiting for for you to commit uh, evil to know that you are going to commit evil. He knows. He knows exactly what he gave you the ability to choose, but he knows exactly what choices you will make. And he knows what these choices entail, and he knows what is your destination in his knowledge. Allah is created or creator of time. He is not subjugated to time. He doesn't have to wait for uh, Judgment Day to know where everybody... <coughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> he doesn't need to wait till Judgment Day to know where everyone's destination is. Huh? But it doesn't mean that he chose for you to be evil. Those who choose good deeds, we will make their path to do more good deeds easy. So, you make the choices, and uh, but he knows. That's why the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu that in the belly of the mother, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tells the angels to stamp the arzaq, what they will attain of risk to also stamp whether they're from the people of heaven or people of hell. Not because he judged them, Allah, not because Allah, Allah is just, عادل. not because he judged them to be worthy of hells, no. Because he knows their entire life and he knows every choice they will make before they even make it. Hmm? And he knows what their ending is. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Prophet said, Ma minkum min ahadin illa wa qad kutiba maqaduhu min al jannati wa maqaduhu min al nar. He says, Every one of you, he has been assigned a place in heaven and a place in hell. You have two places. You have two. Uh, uh, properties, potential that Allah will give you. One in heaven, one in hell. And based on the choices you make, you will end up in one of them. And that's what Prophet ﷺ, اِعْمَلُوا فَكُلُّمْ مُيَسَّرٌ لِمَا خُلِقَ لَهُ 
says do and everyone is it's made easy for him what has he what what he has been created for huh? so that's why uh, some of the mashaykh they said maqamuka fi ma aqama like if you want to know where you stand from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stand meaning what's what's your standing what's your status huh? look at the life you are leading now look at what he established you in so if you are established in a place where you are attracted to do good to say good to worship Allah that is a very good sign of inshallah what is coming that is that means that kullun these these actions that you are engaged in are made easy for you to fast for example to pray to make dhikr to spend time with pious people to give charity to all these things if you find yourself doing that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making, making it easier making it easier for him to do and the opposite is true And there's a Allahumma salli wa sallam. There's another hadith where Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked, and he answered, "Amma ahlu saadati fa yusaroon al amali ahli saada." It says the people who will reach eternal happiness, they will be granted ease, and ease they will be attracted and granted an ease to reach. The, to do the deeds of the people of eternal happiness. The people who will be wretched and miserable eternally, they are, it's made easy for them to commit evil. Hmm? That's why people can kill with ease. People can steal with ease. People can cheat with ease. People can destroy with ease. With no conscience, you know. Uh, watching what's happening in, in Palestine, uh, killing children and uh, women and uh, elders, elderly people. I mean, these people, it's like a video game. Almost 32,000 people. How can they do this? Allah it made it easy for them. They made the choices to be monsters, devils, and Allah made it easy for them to commit the deeds to live like that. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْتَى وَاتَّقَى وَصَدَّقَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنْيَسِرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى وَأَمَّا مَنْ بَخِلَ وَاسْتَغْنَى وَكَذَّبَ بِالْحُسْنَى فَسَنْيَسِرُهُ لِلْعُسْرَى means whoever makes those wrong choices will be made easy for him. وَمَا يُغْنِي عَنْهُ مَالُهُ إِذَا تَرَدَّ And neither his wealth will avail him when, when he is in the grave and when he is about to face when he dies. إِذَا تَرَدَّ when, when they put him in the grave, all his titles, all his wealth, all his possessions, not, not, none will avail him. إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا لَلْهُدَى وَإِنَّ لَنَا لَلْآخِرَةَ وَالْأُولَى Truly, guidance is, we give guidance. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's only for us to do, to dispense. This means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clear, clears the paths of goodness and evilness. And what is right and what is wrong. And what is permissible and what is prohibited. It's very clear. He is the one that dispenses guidance. وَإِنَّ لَنَا لَلْآخِرَةَ وَالْأُولَى And to us belongs the hereafter, akhirah, and the ula, and this world. The beginning, and the, which means this world. فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا تَلَظَّ I warn you of a fire that is scorching, uh, blazing.
Prophet sallam said in ahwan ahli nari adaban yawm al qiyama rajulun tuda'u fi akhmas qadamayhi jamratan yaghdi min humadima he said the the lowest uh, torments of uh, hell like the least painful punishment in hell is a man who they put under in in his shoes they put uh, two charcoal burning charcoal that from those charcoal his brain will boil now who is destined for this who is going to be burned is the one who we saw chose made the wrong choices the one who chose disbelief and evil and so forth he will be the one who will burn in hell the one who lied and denied and turn away from guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, All my nation will enter heaven on judgment day except the one who refuses. Uh, who's going to refuse? Uh, who, who, who's the one who refuses entering uh, heaven? He said, they asked him, who, can, who would refuse such a thing? He said, Man ata'ani al jannah, the one who obeys me, Prophet Sallallahu obeys Prophet, will enter heaven and the one who disobeys Prophet is the one who rejects to enter heaven. وَسَيُجَنَّبُهَا الْأَتْقَى And the one who is pious, righteous, God conscious will be, will be removed from hell, means his seat in hell will not be occupied. And what kind of person, what kind of characteristics that one has? The one who spends his money in charity to purify himself. And he doesn't do it because he doesn't feel that when he gives, he doesn't give expecting return. He doesn't expect uh, that that person will return. Um, إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِ الْأَعْلَى يعني He gives without considering this money as an investment or somebody borrowing it or it's going to come back to him. He does just gives. إِبْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ رَبِّهِ الْأَعْلَى He gives it for the sake of Allah's uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake only. That's the only concern he has when he gives. Sincere, sincere, sincerity. And, and these verses... Uh, in Tafsir ibn Kathir is saying that they're speaking about specifically uh, Sayyidina uh, Abu Bakr in Siddiq. Wala sawfa yarda, and he will be pleased, Allah. As he is sincere and good and he gives in Allah's way, he for sure will be happy. And the cause of this revelation is the, the virtue of Sayyidina Abu Bakr in Siddiq. That uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Many scholars in tafsir have mentioned that these ayats were revealed about Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq radiallahu anhu arda. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. That he is the most deserving in the ummah to be described with these beautiful characteristics. Huh? Gives not expecting anything. Huh? Prophet Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq when Prophet ﷺ asked to be supported with donations for for the battle, the upcoming battle, Sayyidina Abu Bakr brought all his wealth and he gave it to Prophet ﷺ. And Prophet ﷺ said, what did you leave for your, fam for your family? He said, I left them Allah and, and his Prophet. That is such is the, the faith and the belief of Sayyidina Abu Bakr. It is said that one from his tribe, Fisul al Hudayba, one of the chiefs of his tribe, told Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, I would have accepted Islam, but I didn't want to accept it because I feel indebted to you. You had given me something and I feel indebted to you. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq said, I, I, It's not even in my, uh, I don't even, it's not even in my mind that you are indebted to me. He was very upset. Like, I never expected you to give me back. When I gave you, I gave you. Uh, that, that was such uh, the, the khuluq of Sayyidina Abu Bakr. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when Sayyidina Abu Bakr asked him about these ayat, 
ولا سوف يرضى and that per, that one with these characteristics will be pleased Allah will please him and he asked him he said yes and I and I I'm ho- I wish I'm hoping you are going to be from those people ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد إن شاء الله we will end here جزاكم الله خيرا for joining us online بارك الله فيكم جمعا if uh, we are saying or doing anything wrong may Allah forgive us pray for us and inshallah we will see you tomorrow tomorrow is Thursday Friday night we have Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad celebration on the 27th we will have many programs we will have Jum'ah on Friday Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad we will have uh, at 1.30 p.m. we will have the same program recitation at 6 6 p.m. then we will have inshallah uh, also the celebration on the 27th Laylatul Qadr that was going to be that program will start at 9.30 and it might go on for a little while uh, we will have dhikr we will have uh, dua of Khatm al-Quran and we will have also ziyara to the holy here and then uh, the we will continue after that with the daily program until the 29th if it's Eid or the 30th may Allah forgive us May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.